Hey, I'm back today with another video that no one asked for, which, come to think of it, applies to all of my videos. But I'm really making this one for myself, more than anything, because I am one selfish son of a... If you're anything like me, you leave the Octatrack for, like, more than 45 minutes, you just forget everything that you ever knew about it. So this one for me is really just to straighten out in my own mind how the copy and paste functions work. So we're going to start at the smallest level uh, with trigs. So I've got a very boring sequence that I programmed in, kind of a, a demo project here. Please don't judge me on this. But uh, here's the sequence. You can see all of my trigs when I go into record mode. This is maybe the easiest copy and paste function in the OT. Um, you just hold down the trig that you want to copy uh, and hit the record button, which is the copy button. It'll say copy one trig, and then you can move it wherever you want. Hold that down and hit paste. So you can hear it. They're at the same pitch. If I go in, you can see that the pitch has been raised seven semitones on each one. It is literally copied in that exact trick. I can do the same thing back here. See this one? I'll copy that, put it here. Easy enough. Now the second thing that I want to talk about is how to copy pages. Now, it's going to happen automatically by default, depending on your settings. So I can go into Project, Personalize, uh, scroll down, where is it? Disable page auto copy. Found it. So if we hit yes and we add a new page. Now I also have per track enabled, so I had to uh, adjust my master to 32 steps as well. Now I can go in. Uh, something didn't work. I don't know why that didn't take. Should be, yeah. Okay, well, it's not doing what I want it to do, obviously. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is clear out that page. Go to page two and uh, let's see, clear page, there we go. So when you're trying to do any kind of function to pages, any of these functions here, you're gonna hold down the page button. Now we can see that there are no trigs in this second page. I'm gonna to navigate to this page, page copy, navigate here, and page paste. That's it. That should not have taken me as long as it did. Apologies. Okay, so now we've talked about trigs, we've talked about pages. Uh, now uh, consulting notes, copying tracks. Tracks and patterns may be the two things that I forget the most. Uh, there is one subtle difference that will allow you to copy one versus the other. So let's get our sequence going. Let's say that I want to copy the second track, which sounds like this. Intriguing, I know. Let's say I want to copy that into track three, which I've intentionally left blank for this demonstration. Uh, with the, let's see if I get this right. With the record enabled function copy, copy track. You see it come up there, copy track. So whatever track, you know what, I need to make sure that I'm on track two. Function copy is just copied track two, whatever track you're on. And then I can put that function paste into track three. You hear it just got louder. Now I can mute that one and it's in track three. So that allows me to change, now it's obviously copied all of the machines, all of the effects as well, but that allows me to quickly make adjustments. Without affecting the original. So let's say I wanna pan it the other side.
pretty cool. Okay, so let's say that I'm happy with this pattern for demonstration purposes, and I wanna copy the whole pattern. into another one of our pattern uh, banks here. I shouldn't use the word bank because that's something else. Into another one of our pattern slots, we'll say. Okay, to do that, before I hit copy paste with record on and it copied the track. So I don't wanna copy the track, I go out of record mode. Now I hit copy, it says copy pattern. So whatever pattern I'm in, make sure you've got whatever pattern you want to copy selected, I can navigate to the other pattern. So it's just gone to pattern two, which has nothing in it at the moment. And I can hit function paste, and it's just pasted that first pattern in, which allows me to go in and change things. That's fascinating. professional. So quickly, for my own benefit, just to repeat it one more time, if you are in record mode and you hit function copy, it's going to copy the track. If you are not in record mode and you hit function copy, it's going to copy your pattern. It's that simple and I don't know why I can never remember it, but now that I've just told you about it, surely through the power of magic, uh, I will remember from now on. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. I haven't delved into parts and banks too much, um, but using kind of the structure of the Octatrack that we've kind of worked out so far, it kind of applies to parts and tracks as well. So parts, uh, you can have up to four different parts that you can navigate to and select uh, using the arrow keys and then hitting yes on whichever one you want to switch to. You have four different parts and these as from what I understand, as I said, I haven't used these a lot yet, but uh, from what I understand, these are basically gonna change your machines. So it keeps your pattern the same, uh, but swaps out your effects, your machines, and the settings that apply to them. Uh, if I'm wrong about that, I'm sure no one will correct me in the comments. So this kind of works the way you think it would. Once you're in part mode, you hit function copy, it's gonna copy your part, you navigate to the new one, say I wanna to go to three and hit yes, and hit paste, whoops, oh, gotta go back here, hit paste on part three, and you can hit yes. I don't know why I hit yes first, you don't have to do that. So again, because I messed that up, go to navigate to one, hit copy, and navigate to wherever you wanna dump that. It's that easy. Hit yes to go back to part one. Yeah, pretty simple. And lastly, but certainly not leastly, we have scenes. Scenes are incredibly powerful on the Octatrack. Um, you've probably seen people doing this because uh, A, it's really fun, uh, and B, <laughs> see what I did there? And B, uh, it's a great way to do transitions and uh, transitions between effects. Um, yeah, it's really powerful and really fun. So let's say that we want to copy our scenes. Sorry, I got carried away. You can see I have this kind of uh, bit reduction, sample rate reduction effect on the slider. Uh, scene A is over here. We can select different scene A's that we can set up, change parameters, whatever. This is not about how scenes work. This is about how to copy them, sorry. Scene B, let's say I wanna copy uh, nine, which is my first B scene, while holding down the B scene button. Make sure that I have nine selected. It's gonna be lit in red. Hit copy, copy scene appears on the screen. And then I could put that in say, let's say 12 and paste. And now, scenes 9 and 12 in my scene B slot over here are the same. Um, so that's a quick and easy way to copy and paste your scenes and have lots of fun doing this. 
So that is my comprehensive, I think, self-help guide, uh, essentially for the copy and paste functions on the OctaTrack. Uh, really powerful, and uh, hopefully you got something out of this, and you can refer back to it whenever you get stuck. Thanks as always for watching. I'll be back with more of these. Uh, these are a little bit niche. I know if you don't have an OctaTrack, you're probably like, who is this guy and why should I care? And uh, the answer is no one, and uh, you really shouldn't. But if you got something out of it, I'd appreciate it if you'd leave a like and subscribe. But uh, please don't ring the bell, because that just seems a bit needy in my opinion. I just want to tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you. See you in the next one, and uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.